Hi everyone, welcome to Sorry's Gaming's Ultimate Artifact Guide for Tap Titans 2. Now I'll be covering the full artifact list, covering the lore and capabilities of each artifact, and then I'll go through the artifact build guide, so I'll tell you what artifacts you use for build, uh, clan ship build, shadow claim build, heavenly strike build, pet and site march build, and then some useful tips and information about some artifacts. Now this is for version 3.1, which has been released in April 2019, and I uh, do apologise in advance if my pronunciations or some of them are a bit off. I will tried my hardest so i'll do it by in rank there's three ranks there's s rank a rank b rank s ranks are undisputed undisputed best artifacts as exponential artifacts are basically like the best of best these are the ones you have to get first so the first one's invaders guild horn which is a sacred horn used by nomadic invaders in battle the rallying sounds of this horn increases an enemy's effectiveness what this artifact does is it activates the all active skill effect bonus, increases the primary effect strength of each of your six artifact skills. Then you got the Ring of Callisto, which is worn by the great Huntress Bear, and it's said that the gods have given it to her. The ring is the treasure of her people and can be worn by the worthy. All equipment boosts bonus increases the strength of your multi-active equipment boost. This does not increase your aura strength. Now the stone of Val Runes. This is stone with the prized possession of ancient tribe long ago and this has the gold per active skill bonus increases your all gold bonus for once for each enabled skill up to a maximum of four enabled active skills then you've got the books of shadows from the unexplored area of the realm this book contains the only most malicious and spiteful magic and this prestige relic bonus increases the amount of relics you're given when you prestige boots of Hermes. The wearer of these shoes is said to have the ability to travel between wells as the original wearer did and this is a porter chance increased bonus so the chance to spawn a porter in place of a basic titan. The heart of storms a legendary object harvested from the absolute center of the mother of all storms. The pet damage bonuses increase the effectiveness of your active and passive pet damage bonuses listed in the pets tab and you get Fruit of Solist. Everyone has heard of the tales of how Solist's music saved the tribe, yet there are nobody who can remember the whole song, but they each hum their favorite parts when they enter battle. The damage per active skill bonuses multiplies your all damage bonus once for each of the enabled active skills up to maximum of four enabled active skills. Then you have your A-ranked artifacts. These are best all-round artifacts, very sufficient, gold and damage boosting artifacts and you got the recent ones the charge card a legendary mercenary traveled with this card recording the promises of each conquered foe vowing to seek revenge a long trail of unsettling debt the gold per total card level bonuses increase your all gold bonus based on the number of total raid cards level you own then you have the ever growing stack at the end of each victorious battle a great warrior would add another card to his pile as the stack grew higher more powerful challenges arrived after each each one another card on the pile. The damage per total card levels bonus increase your all damage bonus based on the number of total raid cards level you own. Then you have the old king stamp. Anybody in the kingdom would recognize this seal from the grim letter that revealed the titans had risen or from the hopeful one that announced the sword master has returned. The hero scroll set bonuses increases the hero skill bonus granted by the hero, hero scroll set. The quill of scrolls. The ink recorded history while the writer creates it. As the pen marks the pages, the bearer shapes the ages. The hero scroll bonuses increases the hero skill bonus granted by the individual hero scrolls. You've got the ringing stone. Unlike the harsh scrape of metal against common wheat stone, honing a weapon on the stone emits a beautiful ringing like a present cheer of victory. The hero weapon set bonuses increases the damage bonus granted by the hero weapon set. Foliage of the keeper. A gift from a selfish companion. Each leaf come from a different tree. Remaining in the might's elms of the Garden of Eden, each one holds a story and each one holds their strength. The marksman boost increases the strength of his slash boot and ranged hero damage multipliers. Signals of judgment. A gift from primordial companion. These seals were constructed as a punishment for crimes not yet committed. Now they restore balance, amplifying the power the once restrained. The mystic boost bonuses increase the strength of your aura boost and spell hero damage multipliers. And you got the culprit plate. A gift 
from a steward companion through the armor itself a pristine it has been countless jewels the armor that guards the body is the last line of defense but no opponent has gotten that far the gladiator boost increases the strength of your armor boost and ground hero damage multiplies spirits vigil a gift from a powerful companion the mask is like to hold it is nearly weightless but it carries the will of the one who hold, who has worn it protect defend redeem able to a bonus boost increase the strength of your helmet boost um, applying hero damage multipliers sword of royals a gift from a determined companion the cup holds bounty in times of peace the coin builds empires the staff holds up the weary and wise but in times of struggle is a sword that carries the way forward the durus bonus increases the strength of your sword boost and melee hero damage multipliers the white dwarf a hammer that is as heavy as a wielder is strong put all that you have in lifting it and the weight will do the rest. The damage per owned artifact bonus multiplies all your damage bonus for each of the artifacts you owned. Salvage artifacts do not count towards this bonus. Strife's Peace. A sword from a long lost prophecy, order in chaos, calm in a storm, peace in the strike. The fundamental damage bonus increases the strength of your tap damage and all hero damage. The, tre the treasure of Fergus. At the end of the rainbow, there rested one brilliant coin, far more precious than any pot of gold. The artifact gold bonuses increases the strength of your multiply active artifact gold bonuses, uncapped artifacts only. The magnifier. Anything that passes through the device is amplified. A whisper echoes as a shout. A breath shakes trees. The power changes the world. The artifact damage bonuses increase the strength of your multiple active artifact damage, damage bonuses, uncapped artifacts only. Fargin's Grip. This glove is best stored in a safe, secure place far away from your purse or pockets. The rogue boost bonus increases the strength of your inactive gold, inactive damage, and definitely strike multipliers. Titania's Scepter. The Forgotten Fairy Queen's domain is lift, littered with impossibly powerful objects such as this. She simply regrows new ones to replace the lost. The source of bonus boost increases strength of your Heavenly Strike, Hands of Midas and Shadow Clone multipliers. Crown of Constellation. An inscription of inside the crown reads, They will follow you as you were the North Star. The Warlord boost increases the strength of all your hero damage, your clan ship and war cry damage multipliers. Oath's Burden. Those who aren't crushed under the weight for the oath become strong enough to carry it. A Light Boost bonus increases the strength for your tap damage, pet damage and your fire sword damage multipliers. Moonlight Bracelet. Beads of the bracelets sway and sail res res responding like the tide to the moon. The aura primary boost increases your effectiveness of your aura equipment types. Morgelli sword, a gift from King, a sword with a never sharpened blade. The king never swung it, yet it won him countless wars. The hero weapon boost increases the damage bonus granted by individual heroes' weapons. Lucky Foot of Al Mara. This foot will once belonged to a mystical rabbit that those that possess it will have imag imaginable luck. All probability bonuses increase the value of each probability bonus listed in the stats panel. Chrysos Bowl. It's said that any small rock and pebbles placed in this mystical bowl is turned into gold nuggets. The stealth gold bonus increases the strength of all your gold and inactive gold multipliers. Orion's Charm. Remnants of a fallen star, it rouses the inner strength of all those around. The companion damage bonus increases the damage of your companions, your pets, clanship, and shadow clan. Helm of Hermes. Honor those found worthy are rewarded with a helmet to protect the land, granting them the ability to fly. The flying hero damage bonuses increases damage done by your flying heroes. Tiny Titan Tree. A tree harvested by heroes to help defeat titans but given those who stand by its greatest strength in battle. The ground hero damage bonus increases the damage done by your ground heroes. The Retaliator. Forged by gods, the sword has the ability to protect its wielder with the power to counter all enemies. The sword targets the weakest point of its targets. The critical damage bonuses increase the amount of damage done by the sword master's critical hits as well as your base pet and shadow clone damage. Hellhelm Skull, a little is known about the dark artifact. Some say its origins are from the dark depths underworld. 
The boss damage bonuses increases the amount of damage dealt by boss titans. Apollo Orb. Created from essence of a falling star, some say this orb shines brighter to guide the way when the keepers are lost. The pet gold bonus increases the effectiveness of your active and passive pet gold bonuses listed in the pets tab. Samosex Sword. This magical sword unlocks the wielder's inner rage and strength. In battle, it is if the sword swings itself. The sword attack bonuses increase the amount of damage dealt by your sword master, heavy strike, and shadow claim. Neko Sculpture. This little statue has been parts from merchants to shopkeeper to vendor, but is never sold. Each owner simply gives it away, having found some good fortune that money no longer matters to them. The Heart of Midas Gold. Bonuses increases the amount of gold earned from your pets of heart medas skill. Raw toxin. The raw toxin or created from the set essence of raw beans. The deadly strike damage bonuses increases the damage bonus given by deadly strikes. Heroes blade. Sword has been witness to victories and deaths of many heroes across countless battles. The all hero damage bonuses increase the amount of damage done by each of your heroes. Charm of the Ancient. While the old one was sleeping, this charm was created from a piece of his body in an attempt to harness his power. Spell hero damage bonus increases the amount of damage dealt by your spell hero types. Fury's bow. Dropped and forgotten by battle by a falling fury, it said the remnants of her power. The ranged hero damage increases the amount of damage done by your ranged hero types. The sword of storms. A fable sword hidden deep within cavern in the next forest bathed in moonlight. The melee hero damage bonuses increase, increase the amount of damage done by your melee hero types. Divine Retribution. The flames of the sword are fueled by range of its user. The all damage bonuses increase the amount of damage done by all damage sources. Drunken Hammer. The trusted weapon of Grog Boo's beard it allows his wielder to deliver untold levels of punishment to the enemies by sacrificing all accuracy and balance. The tap damage bonuses increase the damage done by your Shadow Master, pets, heavenly damage, heavenly strikes, and shadow clone. Amethyst Staff. A magical stone found in the mountains of a hidden city. It was reforged into Mighty Staff, which endows its users with cast strength. The slash boost bonuses increases your effectiveness of your slash equipment types. Heavenly Sword. Guarded deep underwater, this legendary sword is destined to be wielded by the chosen hero. All artifact damage bonuses increases the addictive artifact damage contributed by each of your individual artifacts. Blade of Democlus. Those pick up the blade are blessed with tremendous power, but cursed by the mark of the Titans. The sword boost bonus increases the effectiveness of your sword equipment types. Titanium Plating. Once belonged to the great Titan boss, this plating has fallen off during a great fight conquest. The armor boost increases the effectiveness of your armor equipment type. Book of Prophecy. Knowledge from all the lands is written, written within. The worlds inside shift and change with each passing day. The all gold bonus increases the amount of gold earned from all gold sources. A helmet of Madness. A cursed helmet forged in darkest pits of the of the realm it grants powers beyond compare and the price of the wearer's sanity the helmet boost bonus increases the effectiveness of your helmet equipment types bringer of ragnarok the prince of this mighty weapon signals the twilight of a great battle with grave consequences the fire sword damages bonus increases the damage given by the fire sword Labor's pendant. Legends say that a powerful nigh mortal being once passes to a suffering peasant. The hand of Madas gold bonuses increase the amount of tap and pot gold earned while the hand of Madas is active. Parchment of foresight. Starting from the book of prophecy, this parchment reveals the immediate future and consequences of the wielder's actions. The war cry damage bonuses increase the damage given by war cry. Heroic shield. The mythical champion of cobalt once carried this shield. The boss gold bonus increases the amount of gold earned from your boss titans. Now these are B ranks artifacts, so they give you specific boost damages and god effects, so best make maxed artifacts. Zakthythos coin, a cursed coin would grant the holder sudden wealth in exchange for the soul. The inactive gold bonuses increase the amount of gold earned during inactive play. Oak staff, created from a sacred tree, this Door, uh, the staff draws and channels the energy of all living things to protect nature. The fire sword mana cost 
bonuses decreases the mana cost of fire sword titan spear this deadly multi-pronged spear is said to have been made from the bones of a dead titan hands of madas cost bonuses decreases the mana cost of the hands of madas infinity pendulum the artifact created by metallic city by droids interested in heightening the human body's natural abilities the heavenly strike mana cost decreases the mana cost of the heavenly strike Fruit of Eden, a delicious fruit found in the Garden of Eden and mysteriously regenerates with every bite. The pet damage bonuses increases damage done by pets. The Glove of Kuma, a glove created to mimic the power strength of a bear. People, Deadly Strike mana cost bonuses decreases the mana cost of Deadly Strike. Influential Alexa, a secret potion which recipe has been long forgotten increases the leadership of the might of those brave enough to drink it. The clan ship damage bonuses increase the amount damage dealt by the clan ship. Elixir of Eden. This elixir was created in the Garden of Eden to help its user bloom to their full potential. Shadow Clone bonus increase damage dealt by Shadow Clone. Titan's Mask. This mask is said to give the wearer the power of Titan for a short period of time. The Heavenly Strike bonus increases damage done by Heavenly Strike. Hunter's Ointment. The Hunter's of Nyx use this for sacred effects. Recreated by a hero who travelled Nick's Dark Woods and learned its secret recipe. The Shadow Claim mana cost decreases the mana of cost of Shadow Claim. Avian Feather. This sacred feather once belonged to a mysterious clan of assassins. They use this feather to calm their minds into a state of rest and increase their reaction instincts. This inactive damage bonus increases the amount of damage dealt during inactive play. Axiomati. An ominous aura surrounds his weapon, rumored to be used by Grim Re Reaper himself. The critical chance bonus increases the chance of the Sword Master critical hits and also increases your pet and shadow clone based damage. Chest of Contentment. A box worn by time, it offers a great wealth and riches to those who can find it. The chest and gold bonus increases the amount of gold dropped by your chestions and fairies, which leads to increased splash and, in fact, inactive gold earnings. Rings of Portana. The legends say that the earrings belonged to a supreme being before it mysteriously fell from the heavens many eons ago. The stealth damage bonus increases the strength of your all damage and inactive damage multiplies. Mystical Beans of Senzu. These rare magical beans are known only to grow from the Garden of Eden. The, man, the mana refund percentage bonuses refunds listed percentage of mana spent each time an active skill is used. Hourglass of the Impatient. Created by the Keepers of Time, the user wastes no time in unleashing powerful skills. The all active skill cooldown bonuses increases the cooldown speed of each of your six active skills. Arcana Cloak. An enchanted cloak created by the Elders of Canis. The Warcry mana cost bonuses increases the mana cost of your Warcry. Uh, the Master Swords, a sacred blade that evil may never touch. Only a true hero can wield this sword. The tap damage bonus converts a percentage of your hero tap into tap damage. The Bronze Compass, the compass that doesn't lead its holder anywhere. Instead, whenever they are searching to find them, arriving right at their feet. The specialty bulk gold bonus increases your fairy gold and hand of Medas gold bonuses. Phantom timepiece. Created in the vortex of time, those who possess this will have the ability to extend time. The all active skill generation bonuses increases the effective generations of your five active skills. Coins of Ibizu. These coins were minted by gods of wealth. Those who possess the coins will be blessed with the abundance of wealth. The multi-spawn gold bonuses increases the titan gold drops when multiple titans spawn. Unbound gauntlet. Crossing the barrel of this gauntlet will cost the titans everything. The snap spawn chance bonuses increase the chance the spawn snap in place of a basic titan. Great Fey Medallion. This medallion was created by the Great Fey of Old. Those who possess this medallion should be blessed with riches from the sacred forest. The fairy gold bonus has increased the amount of gold dropped by fairies. Uh, C rank, these are niche uses, decent artifacts with max level, um, one of the lowest of the three ranks. The Amram Spear, it belonged to a chief of a legendary horseman tribe who rode in the battle with a spear and came out victorious each time. All Titan HP bonus decreases the hit points of all Titan types. Essence of Kitsune. Extracted from the divine mystical creature essence, its scent will attract all kinds of creatures. The multiple spawn chance bonuses increase the chance to spawn multiple monsters at once during the both active and inactive play. Corrupted Rune Heart. This rune was once used for healing, but then corrupted by darkness. Changed to inflict pain and suffering by those who possess it. Its splash damage bonus increases the strength of your splash damage. 
egg of fortune. An egg that fell from heaven, its glow emits a warm, soft aura that is said to be great tidings. The chest enchants bones increase the chance to spawn a chest in place of basic titan. Divine chalice. The chalice of a great adventurer said to be in part great fortune on its owner. This gives you a 10 times gold chance bonus increase, the chance to earn jackpot gold bonus. The Ward of Darkness. No one knows the origins of this ward, but it's said to have kept the Prince of Darkness and his minions at bay in this world. The boss time of generation bonus increases the duration of boss fights. The Lost, uh, lost King's Mask. The wearer is said to receive fortune only a king could imagine. The all upgrade cost bonuses decreases the gold cost of all active skill, hero and swordmaster upgrade and unlocks. Ambrosia Elixir. Some say that this drink of the gods, mortals that drink this elixir shall be terminally best with divine powers of the gods. The mana capacity bonus increases the maximum amount of mana that you may accumulate. Forbidden Scroll. A scroll hidden by the Tory clan to protect the powerful techniques that lie within. Deadly Strike Duration bonus increases the effective duration of Deadly Strike. Aegis. Forged in heavens for the good of war, its use is granted only to the worthiest of heroes. The war cry duration bonus increases active duration of war cry. Swamp Gauntlet. Stolen by the Swamp King, this guided him to defeat and enslave the orcs. The Shadow Clone duration bonus increases the active duration of Shadow Clone. Glacial Act. Once Act of Revolution, wielded by legendary heroes of the past, is now enchanted by Ivatgar. The Fire Sword duration bonus increases the active duration of Fire Sword. The Ring of Fretel, one of the most resolved and trusted, trusted we can wear can win the will and grant his power. The Hand of Madas duration bonus increases the effect of active duration of Hand Madas. Invader's Shield, a shield used by nomadic invaders of for its strength and simplicity. The multiple fairy chance bonus increases the chance to spawn multiple fairies. Staff of Radiance. Forged from the sunstone, it light destroys darkness and acts as a guide for those who are lost. The hero upgrade cost bonus decreases the upgrade, upgrade and unlock cost of heroes. Oberon Pendant. The king of the fairies tangled a ley line and bottled it in a pendant. All magic is drained towards this. The many mana chance bonus increases the chance to spawn a many mana in cost of a, of a basic titan. Mystic Staff. A staff created by the elders of ancient mage order, they created this staff to give an endless amount of magical energy by the chosen mage of ancient prophecy. The mana regeneration bonus increases the rate that your mana is regenerated. Durandel Sword, a legendary sword capable of cutting through giant boulders of stone with a single slash. The non-boss damage bonuses increase the amount of damage done against non-boss titans. Now, this is a list of uh, artifacts I'm going through for the uh, build sets. So, I'm going to start with the clan ship builds. These are the recommended artifacts you level if you're using a clan ship build. So, that would be your Strife Piece, the Sword of Storms, Hero Blades, Charm of Ancient, Fury's Bow, Tiny Titan Tree, Helm of Hermes, Influential Alexa, Orion's Charm, Sword of the Royals, Crown of Constellation, Cobalt Plate. Spirits Vigil, Foliage of the Keeper, Signals of Judgment, and Parchment of Foresight. So those would be the main artifacts you would have to level up more than the other ones. Then you've got your Shadow Clone builds. These are the best suited or recommended artifacts for the Shadow Clone build. So it's pretty similar to the clan ship. It's Strife Piece, Sword of Storms, Hero Blades, Charm of the Ancients, Fury's Bow, Tiny Titan Tree, Helm of Hermes, Orion's Charm, you got Drunken Hammer, Titanus Scepter, Samosex Sword, and Alexa of Eden. So these are recommended artifacts for the Heavy Strike builds. You've got Strife's Peace, Sword of Storms, Hero's Blade, Charm the Ancients, Fury's Bow, Tiny Titan Tree, Helm of Hermes, Drunken Hammer, and then Titan's Mask, Titanus Scepters, Samosex Sword, Alexa of Eden, if you're using the Many Mana Farming build, Bringer of Ragnarok, and Oath's Burden. And for the pet build, you want to be leveling your Strife Peace, Sword of Storms, Hero's Blade, Charm of the Ancients, Fury's Bow, Tiny Titan's Tree, Helm of Hermes, Drunken Hammer, then your Fruit of Eden, Retaliator, Orion's Charm, Heart of the Storms, Bring of Ragnarok, 
Boost Burden and a Palio Award. And lastly, for Silent March, it's your Avian Feather, Earrings of Potana, Fat Grip, Essence of Kitsune, and Chrysler's Bowl. And then depending on what is your main damage source, if you pick one of these three. So Influence to Alexa if it's Clan Ship, Alexa of Eden if it's Shadow Clone, and Fruit of Eden if it's Pet. Now just a couple of tips. Books of Shadows is guaranteed by your 30th owned artifact. Salvage and artifacts don't count towards the 30 owned artifacts if you have acquired it. Salvage artifacts are sent to the graveyard. You can access the graveyard via the artifacts tab and choose to buy back any salvage artifacts at the same price of the new artifacts. The salvage cost goes up based on the amounts of artifacts you have discovered, not the amount of artifacts you own. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and like and subscribe. I am doing more Tap Titan tips, guys, and videos every week. And I believe the next one I'll be doing will be a more in depth uh, deck guide so which deck to use and which titans you know your armored your bodies and your skeletons and a bit more much more in depth because i know a lot of people have been asking for that and there's many more i'm going to do a guide on passive bonuses and um, what does passive damage and bonuses mean get a bit more in depth about that if you have any suggestions leave a comment below and i'll speak to you all soon take care bye